Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in this After Effects tutorial I will show you how to create a clean and modern 3D flip effect here in After Effects. It's fast, simple and perfect for your images, intros or slideshows. So hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started! Alright guys, here we are in After Effects and as always let's first create new camp, hit here on this little icon or hit Ctrl or Command plus N on your keyboard and I will create final composition like usual 9020 by 1080 30 fps and for the duration type whatever you want here I will go 10 seconds, hit ok and now let's also import this media 01 and media 02, this is free footage from pexels.com, of course you will import your own media like this, ok. And as you can see we have already imported this media 01 and media 02 here from the project window inside our timeline. Now let's go right click to create new null object and this is gonna be transition like so. You can also type whatever you want here, ok. And for the next step let's hit here toggle switches and modes if you can find this box and make every layer as a 3D layer here, ok. And now let's parent this media 01 with our transition, use this pick whip, if you can find this parent and link options, go right click, and you will find here inside columns, this option, parent and link. Now use this pick whip to connect this media 01 with the transition, and now let's animate our null object, transition, hit R for rotation, and let's also set up the first keyframe for the X rotation. Now let's go 20 frames ahead, like this, ok, and for the X rotation I will type 180, and this is gonna be our basic animation, this looks nice. Ok, now it's also time to readjust this media O2 just a bit, hit P for position for this media O2, and just move this set parameter just a bit in the set space, I will type 4, alright, and also hit R for rotation, if you can't find rotation, you can also hit on this little icon, go in this transform options, and for the set rotation, I will do 180. We're doing this because when our animation flips, our media will be on the right position. Okay, now let's go here at zero frames, this is a really important step. And from here, let's also parent this media O2 with our null object with a transition, and I will do like so. And now when we hit 0, as you can see, this is gonna be media 01 and this is gonna be media 02. And also for the next step, let's select both of the keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard or go right click, keyframe assistance and find here easy is. Ok, now let's go here inside the graph editor, if you can find curve like this, just go right click and find this option, edit speed graph and for the next step, let's draw the curve like this one. Ok, and now let's try, let's hit 0, our animation looks beautiful. Now let's also turn on motion blur for every layer here, this option, if you can find, just hit here toggle switches and modes, like this, and turn it on, also make sure to enable motion blur here, alright, let's hit 0, and this looks awesome. Alright guys, now I will show you how to import Media 03, go here at 20 frames and grab from the project window this Media 03, drag and drop, make sure that our Media 03 is below our keyframe of this transition, like so. And now let's make this Media 03 as a 3D layer, hit here on this little box, also turn on motion blur, and now let's parent this Media 03 with our transition, make sure that our playhead is set to here and grab the pick whip and connect it with the transition null object, ok. And now I will hit P for the position and instead of 0 I will type here minus 8, ok. And from here let's go to 1 second and 10 frames and animate X rotation for this transition null object and let's type here 1 and for this 180 type 0 and as you can see this is gonna be our animation. Also let's go here again inside the graph editor, draw the same curve like before, something like this, ok. And for the final step let's hit R for this media 03, 
and for the Z rotation, to be everything in order, let's type 180. And now let's type 0, first, second, and this is gonna be our third animation. And the catch is guys, if you want to import media 04, just type opposite number, let's repeat everything, before this one, hit U to show all of the keyframes, and for this media 04, go to the third keyframe, and let's turn on 3D option for the media 04, and also motion blur, connect with our transition, and now let's hit here P for the position, for the media 03, this was minus 8, for media 024, and here it's gonna be 12. And also for the media 05, you will type minus 16. Now let's also repeat everything. Let's animate our transition. Go here now to maybe two seconds or so. And for this X rotation, let's leave it here to one. And I will go 180. And also for this rotation, hit R again. And for the Z rotation, this is gonna be 180. Now let's go here again inside the graph editor and repeat steps like before, draw the same curve like so. And now when we hit zero here inside the final composition, as you can see, our transitions are looking great. You are also free to import more medias here and this is the easy way so you can create your cool flip transition and you can also add text, much more effects everything is pretty much up to you. All right guys, that was everything for today's tutorial and if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also all the graphic packs and assets that I use in After Effects and Premiere Pro we can find down below in the description. You can also find my other links there. Check it out and make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.